I didn't push it too hard, but I believe it's brilliant. It's beautiful. I love this technology. And I believe, by the way, this technology is without to stay. I believe everybody will have to have this turbo technology in the microprocessor, otherwise they will not be competitive. So definitely we'll do it. I will be very much surprised if the rest of the ecosystem will not copy in different way this technology in order to deliver it. Otherwise, when you move to more cores, your performance of Tegel thread and your square energy will just go down and this will not be acceptable. Now, let me just show you one thing, which is kind of an animation, which is the two dyes that we took infrared camera and we took a picture of both of them. Because it's a very short video, I didn't know how much time I'll have to spend. We will see, first of all, that the CPU is working. And then you see, because it's kind of getting red, yellow, and then you see the performance moving to the graphic, and the graphic is going to be yellow or red, and then both of them are working, and you can see how dynamically in real time this is happening. So let me show you. You can see over here, the big dye, by the way, is the up, 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 can you take it back, please? Hey, you're faster than me, and I'm speaking fast. So I can come again, yeah. So you can see on the right hand side, you can see the graphic, with the biggest shift. On the left hand side, you can see the West with the microprocessor. You can see, by the way, where the execution unit with the high uh, activity factor. This is the hot thing on the IO port. The I didn't check it, but I believe the can tell us. But what you can see, both the graphic and the CPU are active, and you can see how the rest of the activation of the program, how it's getting hotter or cooler, and you can see how fast it's happening. In a second, we recycle it, and you see now the graphic is very cool. The graphic is getting hotter. The microprocessor is getting cool, and you can see how power is moving from one device to the other device. And now you can take the extra power and throw it from one side to the other side. And this is dynamic that's happening in the real time. The measurement is every five nanosecond in the turbo inside the CPU. We measure it every five milliseconds, and between the die, we measure it several times a second. Because again, the dynamic of the thermal overall is not so fast, but the drivers take care of it and manage it between the two. 